are back for another Circle Time. All our friends are with us. Miss White and I are just happy that you're joining us with us here today. We're still talking about reducing, reusing, and recycling. And we've read this book once. We're going to read it again today called uh, Gary and Harry, which is about sea turtles. And a lot of our trash ends up in the ocean, stuff that people litter. And some of the stuff that, so we talked about how uh, plastic bags are really bad for turtles. Another thing that's really bad for animals are these plastic things that, like these Gatorade came in these. And the problem is animals will get stuck inside and these last pretty much forever. So these can really be dangerous for animals. So what I do if I ever buy something that has one of these, and make sure you have an adult with scissors or have an adult help you, I snip all of these little circles to make sure nothing can get caught in it. So I'm carefully snip, snip, snipping away. And then I'm going to snip some more and some more and some more and some more. Doing all this to make sure if somehow this did end up in the ocean or a river or any kind of water that it wouldn't hurt animals. And it's kind of fun too. It's fun cutting. As long as you're being safe and not cutting clothes or hair or anything like that. So now, if this were to somehow get out of the trash and get into the ocean, an animal could not get caught in it because I've opened up all of the little sections. So that's just one way we try to keep animals and the environment safe around us. I'll throw that away in a few minutes. All right. We are going to get started in a minute on something we do every day. The Purple Binder! Our Hegarty lesson, our phonemic awareness a lesson that we do every day. And we do this so we can learn how to read. Because that is so important that we learn how to read. Um, so we are going to start with, oh my goodness, ah, here they are. I lost my letters. I bet Wombat might have tried to hide them, but I found them. So we will start with our letters and sounds. The letter is I, the sound is I. The letter is P, the sound is P. The letter is N. The sound is N. Mm. The letter is R. The sound is R. The letter is J. The sound is J. The letter is S. The sound is S. And the letter is Z. The sound is Z. Nice job on those letters and sounds. We've made it through all of the letters and sounds this week. Great job. Now we're going to go to our rhyming words. I'm going to say two words. You're going to say them. If they rhyme, give me thumbs up. If they don't rhyme, give me thumbs down. And remember, rhyming words sound the same at the end of the word. All right. Here we go. One, two. Oh, those are both numbers, but they don't rhyme. Brown crown. Those are rhyming words. Plant grant. Nice job. Those words rhyme. Knob cob. Good job. And bun sun. That's right. Fantastic job on those rhyming words. All right. Now, we're going to do our beginning sounds. So we're going to punch it out and then say the word. I'll go first. Then it's your turn. Eh, eh, edge. Eh, eh, enjoy. Eh, eh, elbow. Eh. Eh, exit. Eh, eh, engine. 
Nice job on those beginning sounds. Now, we are gonna say each sound in the word and then crunch it together to make the word. I'll go first, then it's your turn. K, A, T, cat. M, A, P, map. T, A, G, tag. And k a p cap. N a p nap. Nice job. Some of you did better than I did on those blending those phonemes to make the word. Nice work. All right. Now we're going to do our ending sounds. We're going to reach across the word and punch it up. I'll go first, then it's your turn. Said, d. Give, v. Look, k. Buzz, z. Cross, Very nice. Now, let's segment the word. So we're going to say the word, and then we're going to chop it up into its parts. I'll go first, then it's your turn. Bug, b, a, g. Pup, p, a, p. Hug, h, a, Bun, b, a, n. Nut, n, a, t. Very good job segmenting those sounds, saying the whole word and then saying each sound. Now we're going to add a sound to the beginning to make a word. Everybody say id. If we add a d to the beginning, we have did. Everybody say ip. If we add z to the beginning, we have zip. Everybody say it. If we add h to the beginning, we have hit. Everybody say wig. Don't everybody say Ig. There we go. If we add w to the beginning, we have wig. And everybody say m. If we add h to the beginning, we have him. All right, now we're going to take that first sound away. Everybody say bug. If we take away the b, we're left with ug. Everybody say pup. If we take away the p, we're left with up. Everybody say hug. If we take away the h, we're left with ug. Everybody say bun. If we take away the b, we're left with un. And everybody say nut. If we take away the n, we're left with ut. Great job. Now, we are going to change our beginning sounds. So, I'm. everybody say dog. If we change the d to a, we have fog. Everybody say Fog. If we change the th to a l, we have log. Hey, log. Everybody say log. If we change the l to a h, we have hog. Everybody say hog. 
if we change the h to a j, we have jog. And everybody say jog. If we change the j to a d, we're back to dog. So hi dog and dog and dog and dog. We've got lots of dogs with us today. All right. It is time for our nursery rhyme. And this is our last day for our nursery rhyme. And it goes like this. We'll do it twice together. Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such a sight, and the dish ran away with the spoon. Nice job. Let's do it one more time for our nursery rhyme, Hey Diddle Diddle. Hey Diddle Diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such a sight, and the dish ran away with the spoon. Nice job on our nursery rhyme. That's a fun nursery rhyme this week. All right, we're going to get ready to stand up so we can do our Mighty Minute. All right, we are standing up for our Mighty Minute, and this one is called Bounce, 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 and it goes to the tune of Row, Row, Row Your Boat. So we're going to do some action words or some verbs to figure out how we are going to move. Now, you could be moving around your room a little bit, and that's okay. Just make sure you're not going to bump into anybody or anything. So, we're going to start by bouncing, and it goes like this. <gasps> bounce, bounce, bounce around, bounce around the floor. Bouncing, 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 bouncing more and more. Ooh, what's another? And we're doing this one again because this was another request. People love bouncing around. So, what is another way we could move our body? All right, we could fly. Let's get our wings out. <gasps> Fly, fly, fly around, fly around the floor. Fly, 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 flying more and more. All right. What is another way we could move our body? We could march. All right, let's do that. March, march, march around, march around the floor. Marching, 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 marching more and more. Oh, what? That wasn't fast enough? All right, we can try to run in place, but we're not running around the room. So we're going to try to run in our spot. Here we go. Run, run, run around, run around the floor. Running, 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 running more and more. Whew. All right. Let's do one more thing. All right. I guess we could dance. Here we go. Dance, dance, dance around, dance around the floor. Dancing, 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 dancing more and more. Whew. All right. Let's finish up this and let's sit back down and get ready for our story. All right. Our story today is The Adventures of Gary and Harry, A Tale of Two Turtles. Written by Lisa Matsumoto and illustrated by Michael Furia. And this is a great story. Remember we talked about making sure we don't put bags or plastic uh, in the in any kind of water, the river, or the ocean, or anything, because that can be really dangerous to sea creatures. So, this story will tell us about that. Deep in the sparkling sea, Gary the green sea turtle and his best friend Harry the hawksbill turtle played in their ocean home. Each day they would swim to the surface and happily dive beneath the waves. Gary and Harry love their carefree life in the sea and like to visit their many ocean friends, like Olivia the octopus, Lori the lobster, and even Herman the grumpy old hermit crab, who was really nothing but a big softy under that crusty old shell. For Gary and Harry, each day was a great underwater adventure. Some days they would explore deep into dark underwater caverns. Other days they would search for long lost treasures buried deep in the holes of old sunken ships. 
When they wanted a good laugh, they would visit the crazy clownfishes who performed in Harold Harlequin Shrimp's Spectacular Sea Circus. One day after their morning adventure, Gary and Harry were especially hungry. As always, it was difficult deciding what to have for lunch since they had very different tastes in food. How about a salty seaweed salad made of fresh algae, suggested Gary. Algae, yuck! Harry replied, making a face. I'd rather have a nice, tasty jellyfish. And his wish had been answered, for suddenly a school of jellyfish floated, floated by. Wow, look at all those jellyfish! Harry quickly swam to the largest one and swallowed it in one big gulp. <gasps> Gary expected to hear a satisfied, ah. But instead, Harry responded with a terrified, ah! Harry was gasping and choking. That was no jellyfish he swallowed. It was a plastic bag. Harry knew many sea turtles had died from choking on plastic bags, but he never thought it would happen to him. Harry desperately tried everything to remove the plastic bag, but it just wouldn't come out. His life flashed before him. Luckily, Gary had just completed the turtle safety class, and by using the Heimlich maneuver, the plastic bag flew right out of Harry's throat. Whew, that was close, Harry said while catching his breath. How did a plastic bag get in the ocean anyways? How else, Gary answered, the humans. Well, they need to be more careful to keep their trash out of our homes, Harry said angrily. Gary could not agree with him more. Suddenly, Harry's stomach rumbled. All of the excitement worked up his appetite. Well, I'm starving, he told Gary. Let's get lunch. And just then, a beautiful jellyfish floated by. Look, Harry, just what you asked for. Lunch. After what Harry had been through, suddenly jellyfish didn't seem too appealing. Maybe I'll try one of those salty seaweed, sa seaweed salads. Gary's face quickly lit up. Well, I know the perfect place to go, he said excitedly. And with a flick of their flippers, they quickly dove through the crystal blue water, eager to enjoy a nice, delicious, relaxing lunch. The what a nice story about the turtles, and I'm glad they ended up being okay and they had their, their turtle safety course, but it just reminds us to be really careful to when, we, when we're done with things and we throw them away, to throw them in the trash, that anytime we litter or put things where we're not supposed to be, it could be dangerous for animals. So, um, yeah, great job on that story. And we are gonna finish up with a song today. down by the river but I haven't done it in a circle time and I just want to finish off with this one this week so it goes like this this land is your land this land is my land from California to the New York Island from the railroad forest to the Gulf Stream waters this land
dust clouds rolling And the voice was changing And the fog was lifting This land was made for you and me This land is your land This land is mine Because to me, it talks about how important each and every one of us are, that we are all very important and we can all make a difference and we all need to treat each other with respect and also be treated with respect. And that's what we talk about every day here when we finish up talking about being nice to each other and taking care of each other. Because so much of what we do, we need other people around us. We need our friends. We need our family and we need to take care of each other. So... As we finish up this week, I just want to thank you again. And Miss White wants to thank you for coming and joining us for our circle time. Make sure we're taking care of each other. Uh, love your families. And we hope to see you again real soon. Bye-bye.